boom welcome back to the blood cloud channel in today's video i will be replacing my bms battery management system for the auto start and the epu that's operated by the battery and also the hood switch on this 2019 kenworth t680 stay tuned in case you're wondering why i'm replacing my bms for the auto start is if it's not working you'll get that um warning right here main state of charge sensor error and those who have auto start knows that um when you enable the switch you have to have a batch percentage for the truck to start so to auto start so if you go right here you'll see that the battery charge it, it's not reading so my bms is bad also the hood switch warning if it's bad it will obviously tell you that the sensor is bad and it won't allow the truck to auto start because it will think that the hood is open so those are two main reason why i'm replacing both those components so this is for all the truckers or guys out there with uh electric epu that's run by the battery and also those that have an auto start so this video will help you guys So for today's install, these are the tools and items I'll be using. This is a nut insert tool. I got this at Arbor Freight. These are nut inserts. I bought them on Amazon. You're going to need two bolts to match these. I also have a drill. I have an impact. This is the hood switch right here. Don't know if there's a part number there it is this is the bms module there is a part number and you're going to need a 17 mil for the battery box or the step then you're going to need a 13 mil to take off the battery bolts and nuts and also you're going to need a drill bit to take off the whole hood switch because it is riveted onto a bracket so these are the tools you're going to need for the install so the first thing i'm going to replace is the wood switch i'm going to show you guys where it's at if you didn't know where it is and also how to remove it so the hood switch is this guy right here and it is held in by not seeing it by two rivets it's just below the switch so to get them out the first thing i'm going to do is drill them out and take it off then you unclip it right here so that is that's it right there guys just like everything pakar i finally got it off so this is what it's going to look like whoever made this design obviously didn't want this thing to get serviced so what i'm going to do next is drill out, drill these holes so that these bolts can fit all three of them then i'm going to place two of these in these right here and then I'm gonna 
place one of these where that bracket came off right here so it's easier to service so it's gonna sit right here and then i'm gonna bolt it off on so yeah that's the pain guys these riv riv rivets were hard to come off so that's what i'm going to do next So that's it guys, it's gonna go like this, then you bolt them down. That is, that is the final product guys. And um it's kinda hard to video what I did but we can look is a nut insert then I'm gonna just bolt this back in so now it's serviceable comparing to when it was on it earlier which made it very hard
Boom, there it is. To install the BMS, we're going to remove this step right here, 17 mil. And it uses six bolts. Step. this is the BMS right here mine is bad so all it takes is 13 mil for this guy then you're gonna take this guy off and then take it off unplug it right here unplug this right here and just remove these and replace it it's easy guys so let's do that If you guys can clean up the ends right here, I would recommend that as well. But um, mine are already clean, so yeah, now to reinstall. So just do the opposite to reinstall the cable, the negative cables this wire right here and also that Um, that is the end of the install guys
so to install the BMS and also the hood switch it's kind of um, straightforward guys so don't be scared or intimidated with these um, tasks so if you have found anything useful or anything from this video please don't forget to share like comment subscribe so until the next video just keep trucking